Yo, what is up guys? This is Pedro here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about which player I think is the most overlooked on the Washington football team. So we're going to talk about that and I'm also going to be showing you guys some off-season workout footage of this player. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. So the player that I think that gets overlooked most uh on the Washington football team is Lennon Collins, and I know that might come as a surprise to a lot of people, but I think when the team gets brought up, and especially our defense, it's mostly our D-line, and our secondary gut doesn't get talked about at all, and I think Lennon Collins kind of lost in it even though he still had a really productive year he might not have uh, lived up to how much money we paid him but he still played really good in a really bad secondary so I think this year with a better secondary and a better defensive scheme I think he can play a lot better so we'll get into that also show you guys some workout videos and talk about why I think he'll have a better season uh, next year but first let's look at his stats from last year so he played in 15 games started all 15 of them so it was healthy majority of the season I think he might have sat out the last game of the season so he wasn't injured um had four pass deflections two forced fumbles a sack and 117 sack or tackles which is really good again he's more of a box safety but he still um can cover a little bit and there's nothing wrong with a box safety um he still forced some fumbles he's still got a sack and um, he got a lot, a lot of tackles, and hopefully next year he can play a little bit better in coverage. If you look at his stats, he allowed about a 70% completion percentage, 460 yards, and 5 touchdowns, and 114.5 pass rating. A little bit of that was inflated, I think, if he um, was playing in a better defensive scheme and maybe with some better players, he probably could have had that down to 65%. And I think this year, he'll keep it around that range, maybe even lower, I think. Playing in a little bit better of a secondary, it's slightly better, not a lot better. But especially the scheme, I think our D-line is going to help out a lot. So maybe he can get that down to 65%. Uh, which is still not amazing, but it's a lot better than what he had. And um, again, he still had a decent season last year. Um, not amazing in coverage, but he's that's not necessarily why we brought him in for. He's, he was a great tackler. Um, he missed a little bit more tackles than he usually did, but still 117 tackles is insane. And he didn't make the Pro Bowl, but still, I think he's in for a great season, especially with our um, front seven, I think that's going to help him out a lot because quarterbacks are going to have to get rid of the ball way quicker and he's going to be able to um, be a little bit more aggressive. So maybe he'll get a couple picks this year, but more importantly, I mean, picks are very important, but most importantly, we want to keep the other team out of the end zone and I think our D-line is going to help him uh, with that. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see what he can do um, next year. So now let's get into uh, here's a video of him working out in the off season, and then we'll talk a little bit more about him later. But here it is. Um, so I think this is might be in one of the practices. I'm not sure this was recorded July 25th. So I think this is what was an individual workout or or a private workout, not with a team because training camp did not start then. But it's good to see him getting work in. He posts a lot, so there's a lot of other videos. If you guys want to go ahead and see that, he posts a lot of stuff. And it's good, to, like I said, to see that he's putting in a lot of work because he did get a lot of money. And some players, when they get a lot of money, they kind of stop working. And I kind of see that with Josh Norman, or at least I think that's kind of what happened to him. I think um, he still obviously worked hard. You have to work hard in the NFL. But I think once he got that bag, I think he started to work a little less harder. And that's, I think, why he kind of fell off a little bit. So um, it's And Landon Collins got a lot of money, and I think it's, it's encouraging to see that he's still putting in the work. Um, and still grinding a lot, which is very, very good. So yeah, there you guys see the workout videos. You guys can see more on his Instagram. Um, but yeah, at Landon Collins. But again, I think he kind of gets overlooked. I think he's still one of the better safeties in the NFL. Even though he didn't have an amazing season last year, he was on a terrible defense under a terrible defensive scheme. And he had a little bit of a down year. year. I think this year... Like I said, with a better secondary and a much better defensive coordinator and defensive scheme, 
plus a better defensive line. I think that's going to bode well for him. And I think all of that combined will lead for a monster season from, from Landon Collins and possibly a Pro Bowl appearance. And again, Pro Bowl really doesn't matter because those guys, it's it's fan voting. It's a joke. Um, I think he, but I think he can have a Pro Bowl type season next year. Uh, regardless if he gets in or not, I, that's I really think he can, and I think if he plays good, I think overall that means our defense is playing good because he's gonna be able to help. He's gonna play obviously safety, but he also is gonna play a little bit of linebacker in this defensive scheme, and not necessarily linebacker, but he's gonna line up close to as a linebacker, like a like he has in the past as a box safety. So I'm excited to see what he can do this year. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you think he's overlooked? I think he's overlooked by Washington fans and the national media in general, but more importantly, um, Washington fans, because we like a lot of our players and we um, are optimistic about a lot of our players. But I think Landon Collins has kind of gotten overlooked. I think a lot of people forgot about him or haven't really been paying attention to him he, he's not really brought up when we're talking about our elite players or um they kind of forget about him and when people mention him they're like oh yeah he, he's amazing but um, I think when people are naming our best defensive players he kind of gets um overlooked like I said but I, I just think he's probably you got him on our defense and then Chase Young I mean Landon Collins still might be our best defensive player um, this year, or be, I'm not right now at least. Chase Young might be our best player regardless by the end of the year, but I think uh, Landon Collins no doubt is top three. You got him, Ioannidis, and then you can throw in Landon Col or uh, Jonathan Allen or Deron Payne in there, but he's still a top three defensive player on our team, and I think um, maybe at the end of the season he'll be back into that top five. Um, safety in the NFL uh, range where he was in 2016, 2017, where he made the Pro Bowl and All Pro. I'm really excited to see if he can get back to that level in 2016, played in 16 games, five interceptions, returned one for a touchdown, one fumble recovery, four sacks, 125 tackles, was an absolute beast. So I hope he can get close to back to that um form and maybe get a few picks some tackles and just play better in coverage in general so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please smash the like button let me know if you guys think landon collins is overlooked and give me your guys's expectations for him in year two in washington and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please smash the like button subscribe if you guys are new turn on those post notifications and go check out sportscases.com and use code pedro for 10 percent off all your purchases uh, purchases and that will be the first link in the description and maybe in the comments peace